Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson Toyota. This one's available. This is the 2023 Toyota Crown Platinum in bronze age color. And just take a look at bronze age. It pops in the sun, it's unique, it's one of a kind. As a matter of fact, let's walk around this one then I'll tell you all about it. Of course, you'll see the Crown in XLE, in Limited, and in Platinum. Platinum's the one that has the Hybrid Max powertrain. It's the powerful one, it's the fast one. And it looks crazy cool. And then here's the interior. We'll get our first look and then I'll show you a little bit more near the middle part of the video. Just gotta get our first look so you know what we're talking about here. The Crown, this is Toyota's full-sized luxury sedan. Some would call it a crossover. This comes with the Hybrid Max powertrain, like I said, and that means it's a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine matched with electric motor power, 340 horsepower, and 400 pound-feet of torque. This is matched with a direct shift, six-speed automatic transmission, and this has full-time, not part-time, but full-time electronic all-wheel drive. This also has an important feature, adaptive variable suspension. Comes with four-wheel disc brakes too, but adaptive variable suspension means it's tight and responsive when you need to go on some country roads, some winding turns, but then it smooths out when you're going on straightaway. So it kind of gives you the best of everything. Got the emergency flashers on right now so you can see what they look like when you've got a turn signal going on here. Quad LED lights here. Pretty cool stuff, right? Then we've got LED daytime running lights. Look at this here. This is Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. It has a camera right here, kind of hidden away. So you can see, especially when you're pulling into a parking spot and need a little bit of extra guidance. Look at the gloss black here. Just a beautiful vehicle. We'll walk all the way around here. Parking sensors in the front, parking sensors in the rear. These are the multi-spoke, the 10-spoke, two-tone, 21-inch wheels. Really cool looking here. All right, turn signal indicator. We also have a camera here. That's for the all-around bird's eye view camera. And it comes with standard blind spot monitor. You'll see black accents on the pillars and chrome around the windows right here. What do we see on the door handles though? We see a mix of both the black, glossy, and the chrome. And then down below, we're gonna see that black accent piece. It's sporty, that's for sure. Let's walk all the way around to the back. You'll see it has gloss black shark fin antenna, baby shark doot 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 doot, doot. baby shark fin antenna. All right, turn signal indicator right here. Turn signal indicator. This one has the two-tone paint. So you'll see gloss black on the hood, gloss black on the back, and then lots of accents as well. Has backup parking sensors, backup camera, camera washer. How do you like it? I love hidden compartments and buttons. This one right here is for the trunk release, right here between the W and the N. Just pop that and up she goes. All right, nice wide trunk space. You can push those seats down if you want to get something longer through there. This one has the all-weather cargo tray, just like this, and then it pops up to reveal our spare tire. And when I push those seats down, now we can put something long through, like skis or a broomstick or a two by four. And what kind of legroom space are we gonna have for backseat passengers? Well, believe it or not, this is with the seat all the way back. So I have a lot of room back here. Remember, this is a full size sedan, Toyota says. So look at this, plenty of room here. The leather seats are very comfortable. I see heated seats in the back right here on the handle. Boom. Okay, this one sits up a little bit higher so you are kind of cramped for headroom space just in that one seat, but then you settle back down and now we have good headroom space here. This is with the seat forward just a little bit more and you can really stretch out. As we look inside the back seat, you'll see a big opening here for bottles or flasks, hydro flask. Not a regular flask, I hope, but a flask that's hydro. All right, so we've got heated seat here, 
11 JBL speakers. This is one of them here. Subwoofer, amplifier. It has pockets in the back seats right here. And then USB-Cs, rear air vents. Get on in here and we'll see cup holders. Nice, chunky, squishy. I like that armrest right there. See the bronze piping that matches? We got lights up here, but the bronze piping matches the outside. Really cool. All right, so how do you like the back seat? When you're in the back seat, you might also like looking at the 12.3 inch digital display here and then the multimedia touchscreen that's also 12.3 inches. That's very nice. So it's almost 25 inches of multimedia and information screens. And our panoramic roof opens up just like this. The shade does. Very nice. Not only is the Platinum the fast and powerful one, but it's the one that has more luxury features, we'll call it. Got extra room there for bottles, just like in the back, but we have more bronze accents all the way across here. The raised screen. And then it shows a lot of light when you have that panoramic roof open. How are the seats? Good bolstering, but it's squishy. See that wraps around you, but it's not solidly firm like a sports seat. It's actually really comfortable. And I drive a Crown Limited and I can tell you, I think the seats are very nice and they are very comfortable. So another feature that you can have is the self parallel and perpendicular park button. That's the advanced park feature. So you can push that, set up your parking spot, and then it can help you back in. How about three speed or three setting, heated seat, cooled seat, that's nice. All right, electronic parking brake and brake hold. There are a lot of different drive modes that you can get on this one. That's one thing that's definitely advanced versus the other two trim levels, USB-Cs, a lot going on here. And then there's our wireless charger. You just stick it down in that slot and it can charge. You can open up this deep compartment from either side. That's pretty handy, right? What about our drive modes? What are we looking at here? Let's start with Eco, that's better gas mileage. Comfort mode, normal. If you want the more aggressive ones, faster throttle response, a little bit louder, more powerful, like sporty sounds. Sport S, Sport S Plus, and then you can also customize different settings of your drive. You can also change your settings for safety features and you can change this right here. We can change our meter settings so you can change the way the display looks and also just the style. So you can have two gauges right there. You can have one or we can just do the digital. So it really depends on what's better for you. So let's set it for two and then we're going to show you the meter style. You can do smart that you see here. We'll do casual. We're gonna go through them all. Let's do tough. And then sporty. Do you have a preference? Let's try the horn. All right, here are the steering wheel settings. A lot of safety, convenience, voice commands that you can give. In the door panel, we've got two settings for memory seats, power, Right here, mirrors. I like that for sure. And here we've got the trunk release and also the hood release and the fuel door release. Everything's released. All right, has automatic rain sensing wipers and also windshield wiper de-icer as well. And then over here, that's how you adjust your fan speed. Do English here, and then we can do our music. It's all touchscreen, it's real easy to use. You can give it advanced voice commands as well, or I can scroll. All sorts of things that you can do in your car. You can set up energy flow, so we know when we're using gasoline, when we're using electric motor, all that jazz. What about up top here? Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link. This is for your lights, your lights, safety connect, and then that's another microphone right here. Passenger has one and driver has one and a lighted 
visor with slider. Here's the window sticker for a Crown Platinum, made in Japan, bronze age. It's going to age well. Here's the fuel mileage here, combines for 30. And then some specs that you'll want to know about. This is standard from the factory. So just take a look here. Starts at 52,350. Has the premium paint charge for the Bronze Age and also the two-tone. And then this one has some extra options from the regional assembly port that finish it off. So you can kind of make it your own. And then that puts it at 55890. This one's available at Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh. Thanks for watching everybody. If you're interested, you can go to fredandersontoyota.com, see all the cars, trucks, and SUVs that are here, and also what's available and incoming, new, pre-owned, it's all here. We've got a lot of inventory right now, and hopefully there'll be something that's the perfect vehicle for you. Our social media platforms are Fred Anderson Toyota Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And we'll see you next time. If you're interested in car repair, service, and maintenance, please check out our playlist called Toyota Car Care Talk. That's where the technicians discuss repair and maintenance and servicing of vehicles, and we answer your questions. We hope you like the series.